where I am today. Overall, before talking about the team, I personally consider that I did an incredible split, and yet the conditions were not necessarily the most optimal ones sincerely. Damn. Damn, bro. Like, that's tough. By the way, before we get into this shit, I'm the fucking goat and shit sucked over at Fnatic. I am the goat and it, and, it, and the, the situation wasn't even optimal at all. Respect. With hindsight, I realized that joining such a lineup while being a rookie is probably one of the most double-edged choices. And fortunately, everything ended up pretty well. Since we still finished second in the LEC, and I want to repeat second in the LEC uh, for those who like to trash us on our performance at Worlds, at the Worlds uh, for getting our performance during the whole split and playoffs. True, they did get second. It's the most alpha thing I've ever read, read in my life. We qualified for the Worlds, my first Worlds. I will have done in 19 years old. I will have done at 19 years old. Very happy. Yeah, first, first Worlds in 19, really big. Uh, nevertheless, dude, when I was 19, Worlds didn't even exist, all right? Like, that's, that's the boomer technology we used to work with. Um, nevertheless, it doesn't change the fact that my experience at Worlds uh, will not have been the best thing that happened to me. Only on the sporting level, I mean. So only in-game. Upset announced that he had to leave for urgent family reasons 12 hours before our first match. So we had a meeting at 11 p.m. the night before, and our first match was at 11 a.m. I let you imagine the atmosphere of fear of the team 12 hours before our official uh, start of Worlds with only two scrim games with Bean that were finished in 10 minutes each. Between us, there's absolutely nothing legal in Upset's... Wait. Between us, there is absolutely nothing legal in Upset's departure, and his departure is totally unjustified, at least until he says why he really left, because until today, Upset just left to join his girlfriend because she felt bad to be alone, and maybe I'm wrong, who knows? Oh! Nah, that's no way. That's, nah, there's no way. Legal? Motherfucker said legal. All right, anyway. Those were the last words he said to us before he left us one day before the world. Of course, after the world, I asked for details, but apparently he didn't tell anyone the exact reasons for his departure. There's nothing urgent because otherwise he would have told us. And personally, I don't give a damn about the privacy reason when I worked. We all worked hard for one year to reach the world championship, knowing that even management of Fnatic still doesn't know. Eh. Holy... So he's saying that Upset's departure, Upset leaving, and not playing at Worlds was, in his mind, just because his girlfriend was, like, lonely. Or his wife was lonely. Wife, bro. Wife. Come on. Wife buff. So his wife was... So Adam is, is pretty much putting Upset on blast. And now Upset pretty much has to, like... If he wants to have legitimacy, he's going to have to probably come out with whatever happened. That's fucking, that's crazy. You're going to tell me why I'm saying this? I'm not trying to create any drama. Well, you just did. I'm just saying some things that I have in my heart since the end of Worlds and that are still unanswered. Things that had to be said sooner or later. That's it for the little uh, parentheses. Now that upset is gone, we have to deal with it. Maybe we could have made it out of groups if everyone had managed to keep up uh, keep their spirits up from the beginning of the competition but unfortunately not everyone was really was really mentally prepared to handle this situation and deal with it along with all potential all the potential personal problems that can arise and create even more shit in your head when you're already in bad shape believe it or not but our worlds in general will not have been joyful from the beginning to the end far from it it was hard but we still managed to go until the end to stay together and to give everything we had in the second week we will have finished our adventure without any regrets This is awesome. Damn, this is fucking, this is crazy. I am surprised he's going all out like this. So he wanted to leave Fnatic. Jesus. So he wanted to leave Fnatic. He, from his perspective, the upset leaving the team was completely bullshit. Like, yeah, you would never, like, it would never be legit for your girlfriend to just be lonely and then to leave Worlds for that. That would never be a legitimate excuse. Like, that would be not respectable at all. I don't, I would assume that that's not like, I don't think that's what happened because I can't imagine that ever happening, but that's what he's claiming at least. 
Jesus. All right. Let's keep it going. Now we come to the post worlds moment. After worlds, I tried to have explanations about Upset's departure as said above without answers. After that, I was seriously thinking about leaving Fnatic. Then came the perks and Alfari rumors. When I learned the Fnatic was trying to replace me, I honestly felt like a betrayal. And that's when I definitely wanted to leave this team. But it's not over yet. Indeed, perks had signed before Alfari, which left Alfari without a team. To my great surprise, Upset tried to recruit Alfari behind my back, of course. <laughs> I later learned that after the Worlds, he was already trying to change the top side, including Niski. I also learned later that the ball... I mean, dude, this is like... Obviously, from his perspective, he, he's like, dude, this is like a backstab. This is really fucked up. I mean, I just think Alfari is significantly better than than Adam. So, like, if you're trying to, to win, this is just kind of how esports is. Like, I don't think that this is like... This is as bad as he makes it seem. It's like, dude, he was trying to recruit Alfari behind my back. Bro, yes. He's not going to fucking go to your face and be like, yo, we're like, we're, like, we still want you on the team if we can't get Alfari. But if we get Alfari, we're going to replace you. Like, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. That's how esports is. I mean, Alfari is just a better top laner than Adam. So if you could get Alfari instead of Adam, you should probably do it. Just is what it is. I also learned later that the bot lane in general didn't want to play with me anymore and was looking for a veteran type of top laner. Of course, afterwards, I went to see Upset to explain myself, and he let me understand that I was not up to his ambitions. Damn, he was not up to his caliber. I mean, I like I, I don't even think... This sounds really bad the way it's written, but I actually have no problem with this. I have a problem with this. Leaving for your fucking girlfriend is, is an issue. I have no problems with you trying to make the best team possible. Like... If you have a player who in your mind is not up to par and you don't think you can win championships with them, I think that trying to replace them, like if you can get the top side of Humanoid, Alfari, uh, Razork, and then you have Upset Hilly, like I feel like that's just the team that you would want to play with. If you have the choice between that and Adam, Niski, uh, like Whippo, Still Jungle, whatever, or maybe you just put in Razork, I think that the humanoid Alfari lineup is just way more promising. Even if you don't want to replace Niski, like I would say that, that Niski was the second best mid laner in summer. I would say humanoid was the best mid laner in summer by a decent margin though. So he's probably the one that you want the most. And then Alfari, I would just say you'd want no matter what. I think that any team would want Alfari in Europe at this point. Okay. Obviously I have no problem with the situation. Oh, okay, good. Because they just gave me the opportunity to do a short time in less than optimal conditions for me. Wait. But it, because it just gave me, obviously I have no problem with the situation because it just gave me the opportunity to do a short time in less than optimal conditions for me. Wait, what does this mean? And allowed me to, okay, okay. I think I understand. And allowed me to evolve a lot in a short time. I totally understand that players with big ambitions don't necessarily want to be patient and have to teach the game to newcomers. I left because I was treated like shit by the management. Oh, and even the players of the team. Oh, he's going in on management too. Uh, but I consider that I played a very important role in the success of Fnatic during summer. Um, it's not for nothing that we managed to go from fifth to second place in the space of in the uh, space of a split. But people tend to forget that. And when you're a rookie, you don't have shit to say. When other people have like one thousand times your say in everything related to team building. I mean, I don't know. I, this is like coming off to me a little bit like he thinks he was more important in the run than he was. Like, I thought he played like, I thought he played better than expectations, but I think expectations were pretty low. I would say like the main reason that I thought Niski was going fucking God mode every single time he got TF and, and whatever else. I mean, Upset Hilly were super solid. I mean, I would still probably say he was the, the worst player on the team, but I think that it's fine that he was the worst player on the team. I think he was decent. But this makes it seem like I don't know. The way this reads is like kind of like, I mean, I don't know. The way it reads to me is like he's overvaluing his impact in a way. You won hard versus wonder? Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, he, he like kind of won hard versus wonder. He won hard versus wonder in the, in the last game. That's good. I mean, I thought I thought that Adam had a really bad finals. I think he, his finals were, were like, I thought Armut like slapped him pretty hard. So, yeah. Anyways, 
I have very good memories of my adventure at Fnatic as a whole. It just ended in a very unfortunate way, but I left because I could not support what was happening or what happened. Of course, a big thank you to everyone who followed me during this short adventure. Love you all, and I really mean it, everyone who supported me. You are all amazing, and I've been reading all your messages, even though I didn't reply to all of them. Trust me. See you next season, I promise. Hashtag, we love Niski. Dude, Niski's just a good dude. Niski's a good dude. How could you hate Niski? How does the community hate Niski? I don't understand why the community hates Niski. Or like every single time there's an off season, Niski is just getting shit on for some reason. Like when he joined Cloud9, like everyone was very upset that Niski was the person replacing Jensen, even though now I would say Niski has just been playing better than Jensen for like the last year and a half or so. And then when he joined Fnatic, everyone was just flaming him. Everyone was like, what? How are we ever going to compete with, with G2 caps if we have Niski? I don't understand it.